Tim Talk. My name is Tim Booker. I'm the proprietor of Fattori Farms. And today we're kicking off a series of talks that we have, uh, we are going to be creating every week to really help educate and engage you and ultimately bring the experience of Trattori to you. Since these are challenging times and we're still in the COVID era and not as many of you can visit us, we want to bring the experience from here to you. So uh, the first talk that we're going to have today is, is a very special talk because uh, this is a very special month. Um, and at Trattori, uh, we do wines, we do olive oils, uh, we have vineyards, we have orchards, and most importantly, we have tractors. Um, and this special month is a birthday month uh, for two of my, my very close partners, um, our winemaker, Craig Strilo. Uh, his birthday was on January 5th. And uh, my other partner, Ed Lopez, who's the head of sales and marketing here, and his birthday was on January 6th. My birthday is coming up on the 17th, so I thought it would be fun to get my, my partners in crime here at Trattore and for each of us to select a wine and to talk a little bit about it um, and why we like it. So with that, again, welcome to Tim Talk, and we're going to try some wines for you. I'm starting off with a white wine that Craig has selected, and Craig, why don't you talk about the wine you selected? Hey, everybody. Nice to be here. So today, we're going to start off with the wine that we call Stone Soup Blanc. So because we're a Rhone house and we're mostly focused on Rhone varietals here, uh, what we've done is we've created a traditional Rhone white blend. Uh, this is a blend of Marsan, Roussan, and Viognier. And what's cool about this wine is that the blocks, the grape blocks, are contiguous, so they're right next to each other. And all three of the blocks are sort of on this plateau, and then it slopes down to our creek side. The blocks ripen at a different rate. Up on the hills, it's a little bit warmer, it's a little bit drier, so that fruit gets riper a little quicker than on the lower sections. So because of that, we pick that entire plateau together, and then we press it all together and do what's called a co-fermentation. And I love doing co-fermentations with whites and reds because there's just something about doing it together. Yeah, you, you get, get some unique characteristics. You so. do, and you know, there's a synergistic thing that goes on where one plus one equals three in this situation. So um, I really enjoy doing that. And although, although Craig, I, I will also note that um, it's very exciting for Craig to do that. Uh, it is a little nerve wracking for, uh, for me uh, because what Craig is doing is setting the blend in the field, right? So by picking the fruit together, um, we kind of get what we get. But the good news is for the last 10 plus years that we've been doing these field blends and co-fermentation, uh, they've been they've been home runs, so we're going to continue it. But uh, it is a little nerve wracking, though. But fun from a winemaking standpoint, for sure. So this wine has a lot of the individual characteristics of those three varietals. Um, you get this really pretty sweet citrus, honeysuckle from the Marsan, um, a little bit of tropical fruit from the Roussan. Um, it's just a very complex, fruity aroma uh, that has a little bit of depth to it that um, I don't think you'll find in the individual um, components of yeah. this. It's definitely something that is a blend. Yeah. Boy, that looks good to me. So uh, thank you, Craig, for that. So now um, we have, what do we call it? A sister wine or a brother wine to Stone Soup Blanc and it is our stone soup. And that's what Ed has selected. Ed, why don't you talk about stone soup? Stone soup, since its inception, uh, the demand was strong. For one, I personally love the marketing name behind this. When Tim was initially putting this wine together out in the field, um, they came to a point of, what, what do we call this wine? I, I love the name. Uh, what happens here in this vineyard, it's our furthest southern eastern portion of the property uh, of acreage planted it is strewn heavily with rocks yes Unlike it is <laughs> most ideas of botany where we're going to get a garden ready for tomatoes or peppers planted with a vine i think people tend to not clearly understand if you can stress a vine and have its roots reach down for nutrients and minerality your wine's only going to become that much more better um, this here exemplifies exactly who we are in Dry Creek Valley. 
It's got Zinfandel, which is probably the most notable varietal here in Dry Creek, along with what we might be most recognized for throughout all of Dry Creek uh, Valley are our own varietals. So you've got some Petite Syrah blended here, some Grenache. Again, the mingling of these varietals put together make for a pretty serious, at times it could be stout wine in its beginning, but only becomes seamlessly a beautiful blend that will age wonderfully. Uh, big, bold, rich, those descriptors that we all like and the tannins coming out in force in the beginning will only tend to, uh, to, to, to soften and become very, very easy drinking. Uh, and I must say it's a pretty heavily sought after wine in our portfolio. This is probably one of our top wines, I would say, over the years. And one of the other things is that we, we pick all three of those together. So mm -hmm. just like we did with the Stone Soup Blanc, it's a co-fermentation. All yeah. three varietals are fermented together. So we get that synergistic effect and a beautiful field blend. I think there's another thing about Stone Soup that nobody knows about. And that is that in that rocky area of the vineyards, we break every farm implement that we have ever <laughs> sent through there. That's cool. So I think those little pieces of you know, farm implements that get into the soil really also make uh, this, this wine that much more special. So thank you, Ed. So um, now I'd like to share with you uh, one of my favorite wines, and it's called our Proprietor's Reserve. So we, are, um, we specialize in Rhone varietals, as you may have picked up from Craig and Ed's comments. And this is our Proprietor's Reserve from 2018, which combines three of my favorite varietals together into one. And we do ferment them separately, so it's not a co-ferment, but that's Grenache, Syrah, and Movendra. Um, and this wine, I probably, you know, had this when I was really, really young, like, you know, just a couple years ago. No, when I was really, really young. And it was from uh, Chateauneuf de Pop, and I fell in love with this when I was um, maybe not of drinking age yet. And I decided uh, then and there that I wanted to plant these varietals and make this kind of wine. So this is our proprietor's reserve, also known as a GSM. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit lighter in color than the stone soup, but I think it has a beautiful bouquet, uh, a little more earthiness to it than uh, some of our wines. And that's mainly because of those Rome varietals and that Grenache in particular. Mm. Oh yeah, that, that, that works for me. That, that's a home run. Um, I really pick up a lot more of that earthiness in the palate. Um, and I get some, a little bit of, little bit of berryness too going down in the, in the finish. But you know, we'd like to um, share these wines with all of you. So please um, visit us at uh, trattoriefarms.com uh, where you can get any of these wines and enjoy them in your home. So with that, our first Tim Talk is over and we will see you next week. Thanks guys. Thank Take you. care.